It's an interesting story because I was never really interested in politics when I was younger. My parents come from South Korea and they moved to Christchurch in 1995. And as you can imagine, immigrating to a new country where you know nobody and there's hardly any other Korean people around, it was really hard for them to integrate into the community. But I always remember them telling us that if it wasn't for the people that made them feel so welcomed into Christchurch, they would have never have stayed here, but they did. And so we've always had the sense of giving back to the community and doing voluntary services and community service and whatnot. Um, and so in 2015-16 when I started working full time um, I was looking for different ways to um, do that, to give back to the um, community and I came across the idea of a community board and at that time I didn't know it was politics, I thought it was purely voluntary and that's how um, I started um, and it became, I realised it was a lot more political than I realised, I thought it would be, um, but I enjoyed it and that's how I eventually got, in, got into politics, so very unintentional. <laughs> I was very lucky to be, be elected onto the community board in Rickerton, so I represent Rickerton. Um, and I don't think I ever envisioned myself ever to stand for City Council purely because I had a career in finance and I was quite passionate about finance as well. Um, but I think over the three years that I was um, uh, being a, a community board member, I slowly started to feel more passion towards Christchurch and I realised I really wanted to make a real difference. Um, I didn't agree with some of the way that the current city council was taking Christchurch and I, as a young person, um, I really wanted to um, take part in making change and making real positive change for Christchurch. So I thought, why not give it a shot? Um, I'm quite passionate about it and that's what sparked me to stand for city council. The Rickerton Ward is a very diverse area. We've got a lot of different ethnic groups, a lot of different cultures. Um, we've got Chinese, we've got Korean, Japanese, Indian, um, very many. If you look at the stats there are lots of um, different cultures and ethnicities and um, diverse uh, representations across the area and it's really good to see. Um, I think and that's what sparked me to stand even more for City Council because I wanted to be able to represent those diverse communities on council um, and bring everyone closer together in harmony and um, that's what I'm quite passionate about and I've got a background in finance um, so I'm currently a partner at BNZ Private Bank um, so I'm an authorised financial advisor and that was also one of the main reasons that I stood for City Council because you know we've got an average of a forecasted average of 5.5 percent increase in rate rises per annum every year um, for the next 10 years and I thought that was pretty unacceptable when rates are so high as it is right now. So I've got a real passion in be, um, being able to review and have a look into the council spending budgets and financials and see where we can improve and help ease the burdens of ratepayers. So that's one of my biggest um, passions and also just my community focus background is um, I feel is quite advantageous to me because I really enjoy being able to meet people and being able to help people and try and find whether there's a solution for um, problems. So I've always been a huge believer in diversity and I think everyone knows the importance of diversity. It's, it's pretty well known out there and that goes the same with age as well. And I think being young brings a whole heap of advantages onto City Council. Um, you know, the young people, it's, it's their future, so it's really important that um, young people really do get involved with local governance. So there are three sort of, three to four sort of main things I do want to, do hope to achieve if I um, was very lucky enough to be elected onto City Council. Um, one of them's rates, um, making sure that we take action in reviewing council spending, reviewing, um, making sure that rates are affordable for the people of Christchurch. Um, second one is the chlorination of water, um, preventing um, uh, permanent chlorination of water. I think everyone's sort of passionate about that, um, that here in Christchurch. Um, the biggest thing probably is be just being able to make com really responsible community-based decision making. Um, so really voicing out what the residents want for Christchurch and voicing that out um, strongly and passionately on the council table. I think Christchurch is definitely, we've, we've gone through quite unique circumstances. Canterbury as a whole has. We've got, um, we've had the Canterbury, the Christchurch earthquakes, 
we've had the Kaikoura earthquakes, we've had the Port Hills fire, we've had the March 15, um, and it is quite, quite a lot of, quite a few traumatic events that we've gone through. And so I, as a youth and as someone who's been affected by it, and we're all surrounded by people who's been affected by it, you know, with, if you live in Christchurch, and um, mental health is quite a big issue for Canterbury as a whole. I think we've got um, 11 attempted suicides per day in Canterbury in the, from the stats in 2018. So um, I think mental health is quite a, a big issue, and I... Um, I do want to address it in the future. I'm quite excited for the future of Christchurch because um, we've, you know, we've gone through so much, but um, we've we've been able to be stronger as a community through those times. Um, and I think we just have to look forward um, and see what we can do better for Christchurch. And very excited. Um, so door knocking has been one of my favourite ways um, to connect with our residents. Um, it is the it's quite tiring physically and mentally as well because you go door to door, and in Rickerton alone, um, in in the area that I represent, there are around eight thousand households. Um, so being door knocking, I'm trying to door knock as as many doors as possible um, because I want to be able to connect and meet as many residents as possible but it's been really overwhelmingly positive which I've been really grateful for. Um, when I initially thought I was quite scared um, just because I didn't know um, what sort of responses that I would get.